Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So today we're going to look at another important and interesting DAX function, which lets you utilize the relationships that you build within your data model and utilize that relationship within your DAX function. The DAX that we're talking about today is called related. And if you remember a couple of videos back, we created an entire data model. I showed you how to create a data model, right? So we're going to use that same example here. As you see in my data model section, I have a couple of tables which are connected to the get together to create my entire data model universe. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how we can use the related DAX function and utilize this data model and the relationships that we built in that data model to get values. Okay. So this is how the related function works. So I'm going to insert a new column here in this new column. I'm going to write related and this is how the syntax for related goes. So you just simply write related and you give it a column name as simple as that. But if you notice right now, I am creating this column in the pizza sales table. And when I wrote related, it is giving me all the columns from other dimension tables as well. That is because we already established a relationship between all those tables and I can refer to any column from that another table using the related DAX function. Okay. So this is how, so let's say I want to get pizza name from the pizza code dimension table. This is just the basic how related function works. Related works on a row level basis, right? But applying related like this goes against everything that we have seen so far as in, in terms of data normalization, right? Because it is simply creating a redundant data in my table, which I do not specifically require because if I've created a relationship, you can simply drag and drop these columns from the other table into any reporting layout or visualization you want. So why to have this here, right? But because the related function works on a row level basis, you can utilize this related function in a more efficient way by clubbing it with another DAX function. Okay. So let me give you an example. So I'm going to say I have to create a new column and in that new column, I have to check if a particular pizza name is deluxe or not. If it is, then give the value of one else give the value of two. Okay. So for that to happen, obviously I need the if function, but when it comes to the logical test that we need to build, because my name of the pizza is not existing in this current table and it is somewhere existing in another table, which is related to this table, I can use the related function. So here goes. So I've written if and then related, and I'm going to give the name column name as pizza name. This is what I need. And I'll say equal to deluxe. Then if my logical test turns out to be true, because it works on a row level basis, it will go one row at a time and it will check if it is deluxe or not. If it is deluxe, then I'm gonna need one else. I need two and press enter. So as you see now, this makes sense, right? Now I've created a new information column here, utilizing my if function and I've clubbed related DAX function with if to create something new. One more interesting use case for related function is when you want it to return a table. Okay. So let's do that. I'm going to go to that table tools here at the top and I'm going to create a new table. Okay. And this in this new table, I'm going to write a DAX, which is called filter. Okay. Now what filter does is it returns a table with certain filters that you apply. Okay. So I need it to return pizza sales table, the entire table and the expression being related pizza name equal to farmhouse. So what it did was it filtered out the data from pizza sales table using the filter that we provided. The filter parameter was simply saying pizza name should be farmhouse. But if you remember 
pizza sales table does not have pizza name column so we cannot directly apply uh, pizza name equal to farmhouse right that would not work so instead you would have to use a related dax within this so we have clubbed uh, related with filter to get this result also you can utilize related inside other dax functions like sumx or calculate and we'll see examples of those in future videos but this is how you should be using related instead of simply calling it inside a table to create a new column use it in combination with other dax functions to create interesting output so that you don't create a redundant data and it does not impact your data normalization as well right so i hope you understood how related works please comment down below and let me know if you have any other interesting use cases for related dax function or any other query you might have related to related dax function i'll be happy to help you out so that is it for today thank you so much for watching if you're liking my content consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much